Welcome to Holler Brewery. Uh, we're in the centre of Brighton, near enough. At the beginning of September we opened and uh, yeah, we've been producing beer and uh, serving beer to the wonderful people of Brighton and Sussex uh, ever since. Our range of beers sits in two camps. You've got cask beer, which we do, which is fairly traditional. We do a best bitter at 4.1%. We do a 4.2% uh, golden ale. You know, one of our best selling bit beers last year was our mild in cask, which absolutely flew out. We've just done the green hopped beer with Preston Manor, which are very traditional beers. But also, if you, if you look at what we've got behind the bar, we've got a New England IPA on cask as well. Enjoy, that flies out. Uh, we've just done a New England style pale ale with lots of fruit in it, and that's on cask as well. And, that, and, and those beers are, uh, are flying through the door, and, which is great. So it means that we've got the kind of the traditional and the modernity, and we're serving it both in cask. But equally, you know, we, we sell a hell of a lot of keg beer because not only does a beer sit for a style of serving, be it cold and more fizzy, uh, for like our steamed beer, or you know a bit more warm and well-rounded like our best bitter. Um, a pint is very much a, an occasion. You know, when I was sitting in a, a field watching an umpire band in Glind over uh, the summertime, it was raining, obviously, there was cricket going on. You know, the Americans would have loved it. It was picturesque. You know, I wouldn't have wanted to drink a pint of uh, our cheat mode or our loot and New England IPA. I wanted a pint of Harvey's. And that's, what, and that's what I was drinking, because that occasion kind of sat perfectly for it. But when you're sitting out in the sunshine and it's baking hot and you finish work, the first thing that you need to have is the 3.8% super hot pale ale, because that's going to go down in two seconds flat. So we, we create beers that, um, that are really drinkable. You know, because I'm from a pub background, I want people to enjoy a pint or a pint or two or a pint or three rather than just sitting and having a third of a beer and going, that's an amazing uh, crafted uh, beer. But I want people to be able to share uh, experiences over a pint, which is, that's kind of long way of putting it. That breeds all of the beers that we, that we, we bring out. And now that we've got the tap room, it means that we can, we can produce 40 casks of something and we can uh, trial it on the customers before it goes out into the wider range of pubs that buy our beer as well. Um, so with cask and keg beer in, uh, gosh, the, the whole marketplace at the minute, there are a number of different factors that you can kind of work out for yourself of why pubs can only sell beer and cask beer below four pound a pint, uh, which means the pubs will only pay a certain amount of, uh, for a 40 litre cask of beer, a nine gallon cask of beer, where for uh, a keg beer, a 30 litre keg beer, you know, people will pay a hell of a lot more for. And um, so you end up getting your hoppier keg beers in at six, seven pound a pint in some places, but your cask beer, they won't pay more than four uh, quid for. Because here we don't buy the beer from anybody, we just worked out a way of uh, putting our uh, pricing fixed across everything. So everything is £4.50 a pint in here, be it one of our uh, pint of mild or pint of 6% black IPA, it's going to be exactly the same price, which takes that off the table, so you don't have to worry about pricing. And then it's down to what beer you want to try, and then our staff will uh, take you through and you can try all of the beers. Uh, and then get the beer that's right for you. Uh, I grew up in community pubs and community pubs are dying out a little bit, which is an awful thing to see. Um, and when creating a place like Holler, uh, where we, we, you know, we're trying to earn our place in the local community and um, one way that we want to do it is by having you know, having regular customers and getting to know, and it's amazing being on like three weeks and we've all, you know, at half past four, say hello to the same guys and girls who walk through the door every day. It's amazing. But one of the things that we've wanted to do is actually create a club that people can be part of, that um, when we do special events that they can come to. And because yeah, it's packed, you know, we've, we've got queues out the door on the weekend. So when we, when we do our bee launches, we want it to, uh, be something that we let our regular customers have the first dibs on really. So we, we launch a thing called the Holler Club. It's going to be a couple of weeks away, um, but for a bit of a signing on fee, you're going to get some beer, you're going to get our growlers, you're going to get uh, 
uh, some merchandise, and then for about seven quid a month, you'll get 10% off everything that we sell in the bar, which makes it nearly four quid a pint. And then when you're topping up your growlers that you'll get as part of the joint on fee, it's about 10 quid for like two litres uh, to take home. And then the part of the Holo Club, we're going to do monthly uh, parties that is just for Holo Club members, where we come down and we'll launch beers. There'll be plenty of free beer going about. And, uh, and yeah, it just means that we can, rather than it being just a social media thing, you know, we can talk to our customers directly and get people to really get involved with the way that we move and develop as a company.